So when I first started no SP2, and I said that I wanted to max every level. I was warned about five levels. Map 15, 29, 30, I guess four maps, and 28. This was probably harder than all of the rest combined, and it shows in terms of attempt count. Just the beginning, I have to do this without shooting so that the imps don't start too close to the wall and I'll actually be able to reach the invuln. This beginning section is brutal. There are specters in front of that rocket launcher, so you just kind of have to dance around and hope the cybers don't kill you. Now, there are two invulns at this section. I like to use both of them to work on the vials. I've tried a lot of different strategies for this. Whether it's kill everything without using any invulns, whether it's use one invuln, use two on the vials, use one on the vials, and the other on the, uh, the switch. Yeah, it, sometimes you can't even get to the other invuln because they damage me so much. It pushes me to the side or they just block it. I, I might end up pausing a couple times throughout this, uh, throughout this gameplay, because there's so much happening at once. So, our second invuln is going to let us come up here, hit that switch, which opens up the BFG. Obviously, we don't want to be plasming all those cyber demons, so the invuln helps a lot. Now, that right there is like the first sign to me that we get, we get to play the game. When I see that last arch file go down, I know we're in a good spot. We have enough cells, so... It feels bad doing this, but I have found I'm much more likely to be able to access the BFG here. And the reason we didn't just run into the BFG is that it's guarded by a lot of Hell Nobles. Being that there are so many of them, and I only have rockets and plasma, I just wait for them to move aside, really. And while I'm waiting, I can kill these cybers. So I'll say this now, that we're two and a half minutes in. This is an hour-long map. I'm sure you saw the video length. It's, uh, it's gonna have, a, a, a like, one section where I probably fast forward. But for the most part, we're just, we're, we're just playing it. Oh, I didn't even mention, there are arch files in that cavern area over there. I mean, this thing is, like, beyond description. There's too much going on. I, I don't recommend maxing this map. I really don't. Like, already we've had to jump through so many hoops just to get to where we are right now, three and a half minutes in, surrounded by cyber demons. But all right. So this is the area I opened with that switch, and the barons did move aside, so I can grab my BFG, which does open up some revs. I like standing close to them so that they um, don't attack unless it's pain state, but they still attack sometimes because pain state. Oh, I am doing a, a slightly different way of recording today. Usually I watch the video dump, like, as a video. Um, but now I'm watching the demo, like, the demo. I'm also doing it on stream because this was a project and I'm keeping the momentum up. So we're going to be returning to this beginning area a couple times. And what I would like to do is take the cells now 
that are harder to reach later. There are four arch files in this area, and sometimes two of them are on that side, two of them are on this side, sometimes it's all four on one, sometimes it's three in one. It, it changes slightly how you approach it. Yeah, like someone's saying in the stream chat now, playing at a high level and commentating is nigh impossible. I don't know how Dizina does it. Yeah, like I'll, I'll commentate at the beginning of a run, but if, if you were watching me play this live, I was pretty much shutting up uh, when it got to the last couple areas. So just imagine we've we've eclipsed like a hundred attempts already in this first five minutes. It is one of those I would say classic style slaughter fights where you're sort of gaining ground. Like you have a bunch of different monster regions that defend each other, and you wanna take out the one that doesn't, that isn't defended this section because it defends other sections and then you can stand there and kill those. We're going to have a mix of that and by that I mean we're only going to see that here. The rest of the fights are more of the uh, I guess new style slaughter where it's uh, a large scale like challenging fight sort of thing instead of this slow space accumulation. I hope you guys get what I mean. To me, it's the difference between like Combat Shock 2 or Ribix and Go To It. So anyway, that switch opens up these imps. You must kill those imps right there. If you let them move forward, you'll die. And, uh... There's a real reason for that. There are going to be arch files in that spot, a lot of them. And you need them to get stopped trying to revive 60 health imps that, slow, that throw really slow fireballs instead of running towards you and burning you. Arch files aren't that smart. They'll revive anything in their way. We got a berserk at the beginning. Just for funsies. Yeah, I, I would have had to kill these guys with plasma if I didn't use that invuln earlier. Now, what we saw so far, honestly, it's not that bad, but this is an hour long level. So every time, like this is the first area Every time you want to get a run going, it's all of this area, and you have to do this cleanup. Obviously, if you're on Caligon, you don't even do cleanup. Things just like magically in fight at the end. <laughs> he's, he's really good. And I do credit him for helping with the hallway fight. I watched his demo. I'm going to uh, post an alternate way to beat the hallway fight. I'm going to have to dig through my uh, demo files. But the way I did it in this run was pretty straightforward. And it was very much the way he did it. But there's a sort of a fail-safe method, which I'll post as a probably YouTube short or something. So it looks like we are finally just about done with uh, the outdoor area. Now, before we go too far, I just want to get my game speed up and down ready. So we can just speed up some of the cleanup. One advantage of uh, watching the demo instead of the video.
Sorry, that is too fast. My computer can't handle that. Okay. So now we get this weird room. We get some uh, Manx, the Spooter Demon, the Cyber Demon. And I just kind of let them fight for a little bit. Like, what? I'm gonna I'm gonna rush in. Whatever. They're they're fighting each other. That's great. Though eventually, um, the spider demon dies. Oh, I think I remember what happened now. Yeah, it was funny. The spider demon wins, actually. And I was thinking, hey, maybe she can help out with some of the cybers. So let's let's see how that goes. Instantly dead. What a clown. So yeah, there are four cyber demons down there. It, it's a weird, weird setup, you know? We can't go on that sort of center area. So it ends up being more difficult than it might look. And it already looks pretty hard. I, I don't have that much to say here beyond... Don't get hit. Make use of the 3D elements of Doom. Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to hit a switch that opens up those vials. It isn't... You can kind of circle strafe. But... If, if you do, you really want to be stepping out of the room so they all clump up on the side. So now we're going to be summoning those vials, which, if you didn't kill the imps correctly, you just die, because they'll charge you. So I get some pre-fire shots, we can deal with them. Sometimes these vials have just absolutely destroyed me, and sometimes, like this, uh, it was pretty easy. Oh, I I'm not really worried about ammo efficiency for this level. So, here's our first time returning to uh, that open area. I like going for the Manx and the Arachnotrons first, but realistically, this fight is free. There's no reason to die here. The only way you die is if, like, the Archviles push you back too far, so you're not able to get out of that first room. And you have to kill all of the uh, Hell Knights and stuff in that room, which is not the thing you want to do. I've said a lot of times, and you've probably seen it in my gameplay before, if you can bottleneck enemies, shoot rockets at them, fantastic, great. You can, you can arch trial jump to those megas, it's not consistent though. But if you don't have enough ammo, you just can't do it. So what I find myself doing twice in this level is killing some enemies and then going to the spot to bottleneck them like I am now. Basically, you need to kill enough of them so that when you finally hunker down, your ammo is enough. Yeah, I, I do think it plays a little weirdly watching the demo, because there can be hiccups in the frame rate. Whereas a video, it's it's just a video, you know, it plays all the frames at the same speed. It shouldn't be too bad. This is a surprisingly stable map, especially since, shout out to Zazer, he did a really good job on OpenGL. I cannot tell a difference, aside from the specters. Uh, and it runs really well. The specters actually look more like they should, so it, it's really good. He did a great job with it. Like, I, I was a little worried when I heard they were talking about removing support for software, but they were considering it. They haven't committed to it. 
But seeing OpenGL, like, I, I guess I just don't care about software right now. It's exactly the same to me. I'm talking about OpenGL index mode from Zazer. It's on the DSGA uh, 0 0.25. Remember, Vials can resurrect everybody in this squad, except me. Yeah, there's a cyber demon at the front there. You don't really have to worry about him. See, this is a normal arch vial. You know, one vial inside of a group of revenants, and he he resurrects them. He doesn't get resurrected by other vials, and he doesn't revive other vials. Fantastic. So I, I'm just going to fast forward through the plane up a little bit. Yeah, obviously, if you're if you're in Calgon, you know you're already halfway through the map. So we're going to get another Archvile Bonanza here. Like I said, we're taking cells from that center area, which we're going to have a really hard time getting to later, and I'm leaving cells in the central area because it'll be easy to get in the final fight. So make sure you pre-fire. You do have to land a majority of these, and I aim for that pole down there. Yeah, you need to obliterate them. Sometimes I've killed them without getting hit. Sometimes they've blown me to the moon. Uh, one time, they knocked me into a megasphere and I was able to finish them off. But for the most part, you gotta kill them. You gotta, you gotta make it pretty. It's not that hard. Just practice the movement once or twice and you'll get it. Because it's, it's predictable, you know? There's no randomness at all. So now we have the first lock-in section. We're gonna have a sequence of uh, five fights where we can't go back to that main area. And here we have Archviles denying our space, two spider demons, and a cyber. I feel like the uh, solution here is pretty intuitive. I mean, you go for the Manx, so you simplify the fight, and then you just deal with the imps and revs as they come. And if any of the boss monsters walk over to you, you just take them out. Nothing crazy, really. The main thing to worry about is uh, the spider demons can just like shred you because they have a, a chain shotgun and if that happens it's bad. Uh, I don't know what to say. Alright. So you might think that those uh, arch vials get crushed because hey, there are a bunch of them pretty close together. They revive each other in this wad, so it'd be pretty mean if you had to kill them yourself. But no, we do have to kill them ourselves. I'm gonna fast forward through it, because I do take a while. And you guys don't need to waste your time. I hear Doom Kid in the back of my head. He's like, see, I told you, I told you free look is cool. And I'm over here still playing on Boom in 2023. All right, well, let's do the next fight. I have never, ever died in a run in this area. So I guess you should do what I'm doing. It's really easy. Yeah, I have mixed feelings about this level, because um, the difficulty is really inconsistent. Like, this fight is super easy. The last fight is, like, good difficult. 
the next room is really easy. It's so easy, in fact, that in this run, I'm going to forget that there are cacos, and I'll still win. I'll still win that fight. So there's a really bad block map here. Basically, the BFG doesn't work on them, and I'm just like, whatever. I'm going to use my chain gun because I don't use it otherwise, so there you go. Someone's saying now how uh, Sunder 2009 was designed for free look. Yeah, those are shells behind me. There's no shotgun on this level. There are five boxes of shells and there's no shotgun. I have no idea if it's deliberate. I think it is because it happens a lot in this map with the same type of cybers. Oh, I got that pre-fire idea from Encalagon's demo. I'm so embarrassed that the run that was successful, I just forgot. I completely forgot that there are caco demons in this room. I totally forgot. And then I didn't get punished. Like we're, we're on what, my 300th attempt or whatever? And I just forgot there were cacos? I, I don't know. Don't mind me. What I usually like to do is rocket the left group of revs, and then I jump down here. But instead, I was rocketing the right group of revs for a while. All in all, it didn't seem to make that much of a difference. But it, it, it does help if the cacos are lower, so you can actually see them. So again, basically clean up now. But it gives me more time to talk about the next two rooms, which are, uh, well, I was told not to max this, or not to commit to maxing it for a reason, and it's because of the next two rooms. So the room after this is the one on the left. There are going to be two cybers, and that's it. But it's a really small room. And the way I do it is timing two BFG shots. You shoot the longer one, you shoot the first one far away, and the second one closer. So they explode at about the same time. And you shoot them at about the same angle. And you shoot the second one such that you're close enough to the switch to open up the cybers. So you can insta-kill that first one and only deal with the other two. The other one. Really nice. I like that setup. And I get to make use of Doom's 3D. So, this is the room. There's so much to say about this. Arch files on the left. They if you cross the center line, they'll 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 kill you. Now, I want you to do you, you can tell me Okay, if you believe this is an appropriate fight to be half an hour into an hour long map, like, do I even need to say? There isn't enough room to destroy the rev missiles because the cacos and the arch file is blocking off half the room. So I can only do this clockwise move, getting more and more missiles following. If this fight goes too poorly, I try arch filing jump, arch file jumping to the left. But since it went really well, I'm able to burrow in here. Because once the cacos are dead, I don't have a shield anymore, and I don't have the space to dodge rev missiles. So I just need to burrow in, and that's really hard because now I'm against this wall, and there are arch files there. They they see me. Do I let them zap me? Do I just tank the damage? It's a disaster. 
Um, I'll, I'll post a short or something where I do the alternate solution to this one. Basically, if it's not going well, you just take your chances and try doing an arch trial jump towards the vials so only the cacos can come to you and you can pretty easily kill them and then you snipe the revs that are stuck down here. It's a really funny strat. And I, when I figured it out, I was like, oh, we're gonna beat this level. We're gonna cheese this fight, we're gonna do it. But the thing is, you need exactly one arch file to be targeting you because you're going against the direction they're pushing you. So, you know. What triggers the arch file crusher? Uh, 75 seconds since hitting the switch. Another thing about that, when they get crushed at 75 seconds, you better be against the wall. You better be in cover, or they'll kill you, because pain state. Pain state makes their range infinite. This fight is a complete joke. This is one of those things that makes me think, I, I don't know, because like this fight is really, really, really easy. Whereas the last one is insane. Dare I say, it's bonkers. Dare I say. But now we're in, I would say like 20. We have put ourselves in the top 20 or so attempts. I probably died like five times in the last room, I'll say, where I died. And I think four or five in the room before that. So I'm not totally sure, but top 10 or 20 attempts right now out of 300. So I am like shaking at this point. This was so stressful. See, then we get fights like this, where I can just like shred everyone and run away. I'm not locked in, no vials, just we're chilling. We're straight chilling. So I'll fast forward a little bit. So once we go through this door, we're gonna be locked in. Just like when we dropped down before and we were locked into that sequence of fights, we're gonna be locked into another sequence of fights now. So we can't return until we kill everything there. So it's going to be a specter maze. Big fight, big fight, then we're back. Yeah, I'm just looking for bullets. Because, you know, when there are specters, bullets might help. Okay. It's just a bunch of hallways with specters. Um, <clears throat> let's look at the map. So, it's two main pathways. This pathway, Doom Guy is going to keep playing because we're watching a demo and this pathway. <clears throat> they all have ambush flag. So what I try to do is leave all of the ones on this one asleep as long as I can, so I know every specter is always going to be right in front of me. So that's why I'm dealing with this spot first. At this point in the playthrough, music is off. I'm listening. I'm listening for the specters. With that said, it makes for pretty boring watching. So eh. it's very tense for me because we just beat the hallway fight. But for watching, it looks like nothing. because We're fighting specters. <laughs> but I, I hope you understand how stressful this is to fight a group of like 300 specters in the dark after beating the hardest fight of an hour-long map. You could do this in a couple different ways, I think. I like doing it this way, but 
Uh, ultimately, if if you're careful about knowing the layout of this maze, you're good. Like, it, you're not gonna die here. With that said, you want to be maintaining your health. You want to maintain your health because there aren't all that many health items in this sequence of fights that we're locked into. So, all right. Now we've we've cleared out the uh, maze portion, and now there's one hallway over here. This part is is how we activate the next fight. So we're gonna clear that out next. Jeez, this section is long. Yeah, and then I'm waiting. I'm listening. All right, now we're gonna make our way to the part that uh, begins the next fight. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know what to make of this. It's interesting in like a conceptual sense, but it's really boring to play. It's stressful. Alright, so then there's the cyber demon. I just walk him out until I have more space. This is a really good hallway in terms of block map. I've never had issue with it. So now we can trigger this next fight. Before we, before we start that, I wanna say my first strategy for this was to go in the blue door and bottleneck everyone, but there was enough ammo. So let's see what happens. So remember, we still have that overarching maze design in the back there. So you need to be super careful about how you traverse those areas. Like, you need to know what you're doing. Uh, these spider demons, they, they can instantly shred you. I have had multiple runs, and in this room, because the spider demon came. Luckily, they don't seem to block me in on the sides, though. So my goal, after failing this room a few times in blocks, I realized it isn't reasonable to try fighting everyone over here, nor is it reasonable to try fighting everyone by the bottleneck. And I realized, I need to stop saying that word, I decided. What I had to do was get enough kills over here by the BFG ammo so that I could go into the blue room, the blue door room, which I'm about to do now, and bottleneck them. Because bottlenecking them with the rocket launcher is very easy. But you need the resources for it because you're locked in that room. But we've killed enough enemies, we can head down here and finally just, uh, Get those kills. Two hundred rockets. Hey. So it's easier to explode rev rockets if you're standing like exactly where I am, so you can dash to the wall on the right. But for the pain elementals, you want to be moving to the left so lost souls don't jump out at you. Believe me, it's it's easy to get overwhelmed. If the lost souls get into your little hideaway and you're like shooting rockets at them haphazardly, you're wasting time and rockets and probably health when they blow you up. I don't know if I'd necessarily recommend this strategy. I think you can tell it's pretty precarious. But it's never failed me. It's worked every single time. With that said, we're on razor-thin margins here. 
My rocket count is going down and the enemies are still approaching. My conception of what is a lot of rockets is so tainted by no SP2. Because now I'm like, oh my god, I only have a hundred rockets. I like using the BFG later instead of earlier, so I can rocket the revs instead of BFG them. Rocketing being easier because you're at a longer range. Revs aren't going to hit you. It's sort of an optimal range for revs. It's, it's close enough that your weapons work, but it's far enough that you can dodge them. Now this is where I was worried. I was like, hey, I'm out of good weapons. But luckily, I had, like, just enough bullets. And you might have thought it was silly that I was trying to get all those bullets between uh, areas. But we barely got out of there. So it was a good choice. Now, talking about remembering ammo, I will forget in this demo to bring rockets into the next room. It ends up not mattering, like, at all, but it was still stressful that that happened. Yeah, it's just one Cyber Demon. Just an anti-cheese sort of thing, I think. Yeah, I, I was, like, freaking out. I was like, oh my god, I don't have rockets, I don't have rockets. So now we're in the top four runs, I think. I think I've died in this next room three times. I jump down. I give a... Oh, screenshot. Uh, I jump down, and at this point, I freaked out. I was like, wait, no. No, I don't have rockets. I forgot to take more rockets. That's bad. So anyway, uh, this fight is exactly what it looks like. You have Hell Knights coming from the sides, Arachno's in the middle, Kako's and Imps on the front, but wait, Cyber Demons are going to jump in too, and snipe you eventually. So the thing is, how can you traverse this area in a way where you're getting kills, using ammo, because you need to get the kills, or you don't have space, while taking cells so that, you know, you don't run out, but you still have them for later. It's so complicated. And this is like the only semi-consistent strategy I found. Like this exact movement. Nothing else seemed to work. I didn't watch what Uncalagon did. I'm sure he did something like that. Notice how there aren't cells in the back of each of those squares, only on the front and the sides. Almost like they want me to get crushed the Hell Nobles. Luckily, there are shells in the back for a weapon we don't have. But at this point, uh, I felt pretty good. Because we're, we're basically up to the cleanup section of this fight. Now, I was aware that I didn't have rockets, so I try to be a little more mindful of good shots and in fighting than usual, but I, I'll still I'll still speed it up a little bit because we are just doing cleanup now. And I just go in circles for a really long time. Actually, no, we have like 15 cyber demons here. Okay, don't don't let myself get desensitized by no SP2. This is, this is still a lot of pressure happening. But also, let's be real, I am just circle strafing, so we can speed it up. So behind each of those uh, Cyber Demon turret stations at the top, 
is, I think it's eight arch lies. Might be four. I think it's eight. I think it's four on either side. So like behind each of them, you know? And a bunch of routes. Uh, personally, I never really had issue. I never really had issue with it because you can pre-fire. But you're gonna see, I had issue with it, okay? It was so ridiculous. It was so stupid what happened. And I've never had it happen in practice or a run. This is the farthest I've ever had a run so far. And I think you can tell, because I'm treating this with such absurd levels of caution. Because, like, I am not dying an hour in to clean up, okay? I know that cyberdemons can basically insta-kill me. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Like I said, it ended up not mattering that I didn't have rockets. I wish I could say more about my strategy for this fight, but it was really just trial and error. I tried different movement patterns and eventually found something that worked. It's not even patterns, it was a route. Like to me, a movement pattern is like in that hallway fight where I'm doing that clockwise movement. And I know sometimes I have to deviate, but here it was like, a route. Like, I'm going this way, then this way, then this way. And then I'm circle strafing. So anyway. We're, we're just about now... See, that's why you got bullets. At the part where I have to deal with those vials. So I head up here, and what do I see? What do I see? That cyber demon. I don't have any idea how he got there. I have no clue how he got over there. I've never, ever seen the cyber demon over there. I just haven't. And that's really bad because he's right next to the arch file. So I'm thinking. If I go try to kill the Archfiles, now he's going to blow me up. So, I can't even, like, get a good hit on him, because then the Vials will see me, and that's not good. If I let the Vials see me, they're going to walk over and revive all the other Cyber Demons, in which case, I will have no chance, I'll get soft softlocked, I'll get overwhelmed. So I have to kill him, and then I'll be able to deal with the Vials, no problems. But, as current me knows, Archfiles revive cyber demons in this wad. So we can get some easy peasy pre fires and just melt those archfiles like I did in practice every time. But then. But then. I see a cyber demon and I'm like, what the hell? He's. You're dead. You're not supposed to be there. But I was able to save it. That was really a heart attack. Oh, they revived him. Which isn't even that likely, by the way. Because they're large. I think larger enemies don't always get revived, because the vials need space. That was nine health to an enemy that's not even there, usually. And he got revived. I was losing my mind over that. Unbelievable. Okay. So now we're in the final stretch. Um, I just want to grab some rockets first. Rockets, cells, megasphere, just, you know, whatever. So, let's go. This fight looks scary, but 
You just go back and forth. It's no problem. We're in the home stretch. So right there at the beginning, we have uh, what looks like the usual exit hallway with cybers that no SP2 likes to employ. But they're not exit guarding cybers. They guard a switch that opens another fight. I would say the main thing for this fight is stay calm and B, utilize the cells that you expertly left for yourself earlier on because you use the uh, cells by the inner wall that you're not going to be able to access now, but you left the cells on that upper floor which are going to be easy to access now, which means you basically have infinite cells. Now, and I guess the other thing is dodge rockets, don't get overexcited going for the vials, like don't risk blowing yourself up doing that, don't risk uh, getting caught, don't worry about it. Just maintain that consistent damage, be doing your strafes, you're okay. Stay calm. I had to do a couple stutter steps on this. Looking back, I'm pretty happy with how I handled this. Because dodging infighting rockets is like a deliberate thing you gotta do. It's not just passive movement. That's one thing uh, that's different between revenants and uh, cybers. Um, cyber demons are pretty scary when they're infighting, but you want them to infight. Revenants, though, if they're shooting like a homing rocket at a baron, it's not really something you're that concerned about. Obviously you want to dodge it, but it's it's less scary than a regular homing rocket that's going towards you. So again, uh, just clean up. And of course I take my time with it. Like I even go all the way back upstairs to make sure that all the lost souls are gone because when I kill those cybers, I want zero lost souls. I hope you can excuse my uh, my prudence here. Because I'm like, we're not taking any chances. Imagine I'm trying to dodge those cybers by that switch all the way an hour into the map at that exit. And then a, a lost soul runs in front of me and I get stuck. So I'm just checking that all the lost souls are gone. And then we can just kill these guys these backpacks I left for a little bit extra ammo. And you can tell they're not your usual exit guarding cybers because they're able to move around, which is different than the other ones. These don't end the level when you hit their switch or walk out. Instead, they open up the castle that we tried opening at the very beginning. It all comes to back to here. We have one final fight. It's not that hard, but it's an hour in. He's got four cyber demons and just a hallway. And no escape. It's not that hard. It is not forgiving. You mess this up, you just get your 200-200 health. You 
can't get hit. You cannot be taking cyber rockets down there. The first part is uh, two rows of revenants and some imps. I like using this pre-fire to take out some of them, as well as staying close to the right side so that they don't really hit me. But clearly that didn't work that well because I still took some damage. You know, revs don't hit, hit you if you're close, usually, in most paint state. I, I should have practiced this room more, actually. But we got through it. So I, I try walking forward a little bit just so I can have the revs see me and I can take them out early. But eventually, we gotta fight. I'm pretty sure it's better to have them all see you at once than one at a time because the Hell Knights can slow them down, but I'm really not sure. This, this was, this was gaming here. Dodging these rockets. Oh my gosh, it's like Dimension is map three, but no, it, it is, it's not easy to dodge that. So that's it, we won. With the time sucks as well. There's so much to say about this map. There's so much to say about no SB2 in general. I think you should play it. I don't think you should commit to maxing it. <laughs> this it was really like a, a week of not even that. It was like two or two weeks ago now that I tried this map and I couldn't beat it with saves. The hallway fight, the specters, the specters are crushing on a blind playthrough. The rooms after that, terrible. And, because you don't get any healing for the entire specter section, you know that. And I went back to it a day or two after. I still couldn't beat it. And I just played Wolfenstein for a bit. And I came back to it. 300 attempts later, we finally got it. So, uh, there you go. <sighs> this is the only one that I've recorded the uh, video for, the commentary on stream. And it's also the only one I recorded, like, right after the others i waited a little bit because i'm lazy but this was a this was a big deal for me oh okay. no it was really hard i put a lot into it uh oh no reason what's up with the shells what's up with the hallway what's up with uh that cyber demon that got stuck that almost ended my run What's up with that? Otherwise, that was pretty good. Full detail, appropriate map 28 atmosphere. All right, that's all.